What is going on, y'all? This is going to be a video all about my experience with Steel City Collectibles and this 1965 Tops Joe Namath rookie card that I recently purchased from them um, off of eBay um, and then through Facebook and all this other stuff. Um, kind of a longer story, so um, let's go ahead and get to it. So as some of y'all might know, um, it is... March the 4th, 2018, Joe Namath is going to be doing a signing with CSA um, at the beginning of April, so in about a month. Um, as far as I know, Joe Namath hasn't done a signing, a public signing or private signing um, in over four years, as far as I know. Um, I haven't seen one. And so being an autograph Hall of Fame rookie card collector, um, I would say he's probably up there, man. Um, he's going to be one of the big, big, big ones. And as far as living Hall of Famers, in my opinion, he is probably the single biggest one um, in value as far as the rookie card itself and his value as far as the autograph. So he kind of has both of them um, cornered. Whew. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so um, when I seen he was doing a signing, I didn't have a 1965 with me just sitting around the house like as a coaster or anything. So I went on eBay and typed in 1965 tops joe namath not knowing what i was going to find and holy shit man talk about expensive <laughs> it was unbelievable um i think there's about 20 or 30 of them on there and i think 15 of them are above two thousand dollars i think um so i was like holy crap so steel city had one that was um graded or not graded but slabbed by beckett and it was slabbed authentic. And you could tell by looking at it, it was probably slabbed authentic because the centering was really far to one side. And um, instead of doing like a, a BGS 1 or BGS 2, they just went ahead and slabbed it authentic. So I was like, damn, man, that's a pretty freaking nice card. Um, and they wanted eleven ninety nine for it, I believe, at the time. So I wrote them through eBay and ask them, hey, would you take a certain amount? And I wrote them through Facebook at the same time um, and said on, on Facebook, I said, would you take 850 right now? So about a day later, they wrote me back on Facebook and said, um, we, there's no way we can do 850. We can do 950. And so I wrote them back and was like, um, okay, I can do 950. Because at the time, eBay was doing a 10% eBay bucks deal. Um, so at $9.50, that's $95 eBay bucks, man. So I was pretty freaking pumped. I'm um, like, yeah, I'm paying a little bit more than I want. I'm getting the card I want, and I'm getting almost $100 eBay bucks. Boom. So I wrote them back and was like, let's do it, man. I'm like, if you can do it through eBay, let's go. Well, it took them another day to write me back. Every time they wrote me back, it took a day. Um, that's my only negative thing to say about Steel City Collectibles is on Facebook. It took them a long time to write me back. Um, but when they did, they were super professional, and I, and I liked how they were talking to me as a collector. Um, so they were like, unfortunately, I talked to my boss, and we cannot do 950 through eBay. It's going to have to be direct, meaning I PayPal them offline. And I was like, well, freak, man. I was like, you know, I would like to do um, through eBay because they're having this 10% eBay bucks deal right now. So um, how about if I do 950 through eBay and then I PayPal you direct? Um, what's it? If I PayPal you direct the PayPal fees. And keep in mind, I'm about five or six hours out from the eBay bucks promotion running out. And so I'm like, freak, dude. I'm like, I don't know what these guys are going to say. I don't know if they're going to say yes or no. Meanwhile, I'm losing out on $100 of eBay bucks. Um, it's kind of pissy. I still hadn't heard back from Steel City Collectibles, the same people that I'm writing on Facebook once a day, about their eBay. So um, the promotion's coming, and it's about 30 minutes or an hour away from ending, and I was kind of... Well, I was very pissed off that it was taking them so long to write me. So I kind of just rage bought it. I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to buy it. So I um, bought it, paid. And the next morning, after I've paid them, after I bought the card, um, they wrote me on Facebook and was like, 
hey, I talked to my boss, and yes, we can do 950 through um, eBay, and then the $25 or whatever it was, um, direct. And keep in mind, now the promotion's over as well. So I'm like, you know, that's all well and good, but I already bought the damn card from y'all last night. And I'm like, you know, doing the rough math, because I, I, I wanted to find out how much I lost out by getting angry and doing this. And if I wouldn't have got the eBay bucks and, you know, I mean, there's a bunch of different freaking parameters here. Um, and it came out to about 75 or 80 bucks, something like that. So I told him, I was like, you know, I appreciate y'all writing me. I could tell y'all were trying to help me out here as a collector. I don't, however, appreciate how long it's taken y'all to write me back when we have a pretty damn serious deal going on. thousand dollar card. Um, it kind of gets my attention as a, a collector. Maybe not them as a business. Me as a collector, I'm all ears. Um, I was like, I kind of lost out on $75 on a deal that we already had planned. It was just, y'all took so freaking long to pull the trigger. I had to just do it. And they were like, well, would you accept $75 in store credit? And I was like, dang, dude. Like, y'all don't have to do that. I already bought the card. I already gave you my money. Um, so I was like, hell yeah, I'll take $75 in store credit. And they were super apologetic and cool and all that. Like, so I have nothing bad to say about Steel City. I mean, when I'm at the National, I buy all of my, um, I buy a lot of autograph stuff. So like, um, Heritage, no, is it, is it uh, Heritage Autographs, I believe it is. It has like the slabbed, um, goal line art cards, the Leaf and TriStar bag balls, the Leaf and TriStar mini helmets, the boxed jerseys I, that's the kind of stuff i buy and when i go to the national i always buy through steel city because they're typically you know five to ten dollars cheaper per product or per package um so they made it right and so what was funny was after they sent me the promotion code or the discount code and we you know all kissed and made up on on facebook then the dude, some dude on eBay writes me back from Steel City and was like, no, we don't negotiate our prices. And so I was laughing. And come to find out, Steel City isn't like a mom and pop card shop. Like, this is a big boy business um, with multiple people working there. So they have an eBay guy or internet sales guy. They have social media people. So on and so forth. So they weren't talking, which I mean, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, being in the military, I can totally relate to freaking lack of communication. Um, <laughs> that's probably something that, um, uh, I deal with on a daily basis. So I bought the card two days ago and it came in last night. They shipped it two day UPS. Um, here's the card. Sorry for the glare. Um, let me see if I can minimize the glare here and it's not really going to work. Um, but you can see it's slabbed authentic. It is, um, not centered from one side to the other, and that's why I was able to get it. Uh, there's two razor sharp corners and two soft corners, not dented or anything like that. They're just soft. Um, the back freaking looks amazing. So, just really, really freaking happy to get this. Um, I'm gonna be breaking this out. Nah, there's one or two scratches, light scratches on the surface. I'm gonna be breaking this out, sending it to CSA to get that autograph, to get that Hall of Fame inscription on it. And uh, it's it's pretty wild to see what people ask for these um, signed. And if you go on eBay, there's a bunch of them that are signed. There's five or six. Um, there's one with a Hall of Fame inscription. I think he wants like $2,000. There's, there's one with a Roll Tide inscription. I think he was like nineteen or $1,800. Um, but all those autographs are kind of crappy, man. Like, they're not the nicest. They're very streaky. So I'm hoping like hell, I send this in, and it is a paid signing, so I'm hoping they take care of my, my card, and it comes back, um, a PSA 10 on the signature. Um, this isn't, you know, I'm not doing this to resell or anything, but I can only imagine what that would do to the value of this card, um, getting that inscription on it which there isn't a ton of them out there and getting a PSA DNA 10 on an autograph, like, holy crap, dude. Um, I could only imagine how big that would be. Um, 
but I hope to find out. I hope that's something that I do get to find out. So that's my story with Steel City Collectibles, the 1965 Joe Namath. I've done a lot of research on this card already, um, and this set, actually, um, when, when I got it in. I did a lot of research last night. Um, it was pretty fun uh, to find out that the second most expensive card in the set is a checklist. Um, the reason is is because it was printed with the short prints, and uh, a lot of people back then, when they got checklists, freaking marked on them, drew on them, threw them away, um, so on and so forth. So the second most expensive card in the 1965 Topps football set is a checklist, and there's two checklists. I believe it is number 165 is the expensive one, and the other checklist in the set is also extremely expensive, um, but it's not up there with number 165. So, there's a couple fun facts for you. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. If you stayed this long, I got kind of long-winded. So, till next time, adios, be safe, bye-bye. Doodles.